Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 9 on the Mysterious JG. And we're getting ready to travel to shitting. Because why wouldn't we? It's time for the Battle of Shitting. Will the jokes ever stop? Not as long as we keep having a city called shitting. We got Zhu Shu and uh, Jia Chong. Jia Chong is famous as... Um, He didn't... I think he actually is the guy who kills the Wei Emperor. Like, he actually commits the deed. Because I'm pretty sure the Wei Emperor... It's not like the Han Emperor who just becomes, like, the Duke of Chen... Of, like, you know, he gets a lesser title, Duke of Chen Li or something. And just uh, retires off quietly. Like, the Wei Emperor is literally killed uh, by the... Um, Sumi Yi's faction. And I think it's Jia Chong who does it. Well, Sumi Yi's already dead at that point. But I think it's... I think it's, um... Jia Chong who does it. And one of the things I was looking forward to in Dynasty Warriors 8 Complete Edition, Let's Play Together with Bobo, which is probably never going to happen now, um, was playing as Jia Chong as often as possible. Because they really do make him this, like, goofy ass... He's supposed to be all dark and, and, and scary, so he basically is like fucking... He's like this kind of Bashonen vampire dude. He's basically Alucard. Um, and it was going to be fun to use him. Oh, are you guys listening into to Yi's conversations too? See, you can get a little glimpse of it here. He's in his like civilian clothes, but he looks like fucking Alucard, and even his civilian clothes are all like dark. Yeah. Unexpected conflict never ends well. You must be ready to find the day. But no, he goes, Yeah. Men of way are all passing on. They kind of are. Yeah. You always be ready for the day when I've become. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm certainly glad we came and talked to him. Uh, how about you, Shu Shu? You are not uh, the foolish tiger. You're the guy who, like, abandoned Liu Bei because of his mommy. Hmm. All weapons rely on the wielding them. That's why you. Hmm. Formally, strategy going to battle. I only be for the right person. It's a little late for that. Okay. Oh, he oh, I cut him off. He was saying, okay. Hmm. That's why you must choose him carefully. I know that isn't very persuasive coming from me. I'm not going to say okay again. Hmm. Okay. So instead of saying hello and going hmm, that's the one where they have to switch it up with some new dialogues to go with, okay. Yes. Oh, what do you want becomes yes. Let's see. Let's see. I did think of eating all these ways to say hunger, but many actively cleave their favorite foods. Yes. What happened to like the really creepy thing you said a minute ago? Let's see. He switched up. He was saying something else before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Tidal wave. Okay. Uh, battle of shitting. We just have to travel there because uh, plot's going to happen. We don't have any side missions. No side up. So obviously, plot mission or plot will happen when we get there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I have news for there. you. Oh, there's a plot that's just some dude tells us that somebody's surrounded. But I am at shitting. Oh. I didn't even hear who fell into a plot because uh, I lost my sound just for a second while the guy was talking and I didn't read it on the screen. I just read something about someone fell into a trap. I guess we knew someone was heading for a trap because Suma Yi and... Uh, Man Chong were chatting about it and then decided, nah, let's not do anything about it. Quick, let's get knee deep in shitting. Ah, Master Cao Cho. I am relieved to see that you are safe. I am grateful for you rescuing me. However, I am afraid to show my face to anybody. 
I'm so ugly. My foolishness led me to be deceived by Joe Fung and put my allies in danger. Well, so we don't even get to see any of this. You should not be so hard on yourself, Master Cao Cho. The enemy. It's not like it really happened in the minds of the the player. It was just a bunch of dialogue. It, it doesn't have the feel. It's like a, it's a show don't tell thing. The battle is not over yet. We must save as many allies as we can and defend the Shou Chun. Sure. Master Man Chong, Master Shu Huan, I cannot thank you enough. I'll try. I must put my regrets behind me and keep pressing forward. Now I know the floor is the only way my heart can go. And eliminate the threat facing our forces. So this is like 50 years later. He still looks like this is a it game that could do with characters aging. Phone. That is why I must defeat Lu Shun and win back everybody's trust. All right, let's capture shitting. Okay, now we probably have different objectives, yeah. Well, I mean, we're right here, so let's capture shitting. And we do that by defeating the Wu forces. Who are not speci specifically named. <laughs> Oh, Ding Fang, okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I could have used that against Ding Fang for an easy win. Now it's going to be super hard to defeat him. Oh, there's a whole bunch of guys we have to defeat. I got you. This makes sense. So, still, like, you get to skip to the main officers, but at least there's enough of them this time that it kind of makes you fight a bunch. I'm an assault captain. It's against my nature. Much as when we attack, the defense captains get a lot of swords. You put up a good fight, Joe Fang, for... I just got whacked in the middle of my automatically win move. So let's all retreat right now. As the best way to ensure victory. With a hint of beauty. Mm -hmm. well done. I guess I could have played as that Sao Zhui XIE guy uh, because he's still hanging around, which means. And Zhu Huang is still hanging around. I guess I had a couple of options for people who were going to be around at the end. But I feel like uh, Zhang He is going to be around a little longer than any of them. Ling Tong, you even get a speech. I'm sorry. As always, I beat the shit out of Ling Tong. I mean, how many times does that happen to this LP? I need to. Ninja Row, come on. Grappling hook, whatever it's called. Let's go. This area will soon be under <laughs> well, that's one way to stop you from using grappling hook. A lot of fans are complaining the grappling hook uh, broke the game, so it looks like Koai patched it now every time you try to use it, you get hit with giant rocks. <laughs> the enemy's really not gonna go down without a fight. I just I defeated you. I'm hoping to rejoin this fight. I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. There we go. See what it did there, wasn't it? No mid-air grappling hook, huh? You guys are all pretty strong, I gotta say. You're really throwing those rocks pretty far considering their size. Oh, Ding Fang's down there with his giant glowy claws. Oh, and Leon sure is here. I presume she's the other person I have to defeat. Well done. You have 
the heart of a warrior. In the eye of a tiger. Victories are tinged with a hint of beauty. You've proven to be a very talented fighter. You get knocked down and you get up again, and I'm never gonna keep you down. I the advantage here, but I failed. I'm sorry. Yeah, the problem with all these blue offs, anybody you're not playing as always looks like shit when they come up against you. Their speeches, like, it doesn't matter if they're supposed to be one of the most competent officers or not. They always just come off as a joke. Because it, most the tough battles in this game are the ones that it just, you have to keep pounding on them forever before you finally win. It's very few games. There's a handful of times in this game I've actually been in danger. Pretty rare. So anyway, we we uh, captured Chia Ting, I believe. So let's do this one next. Is no one defending this position? Very well. We shall do it then. I will defend it until someone from Wu comes up to me and says they surrender, at which point I will immediately turn Never the entire place over to them. To a I must retreat for now. Somehow, we made it out of that predicament. Sure did. I imagine the enemy is quite disappointed things didn't turn out the way they planned. Oh well. Maybe we'll give the city back to the enemy sure. just to make them feel better. Oh, good, we've suppressed Shia Ting. Something, something, something comes out as... Sure. Yep. Just, uh... Along here, where are we even trying to get to? Oh, we're trying to get to. Oh, hey, Fay. Of the way forces, there is nowhere left to hide. Come out and face us in honorable battle. They're trying to hide. Oh, I just banged a gong by mistake. Banged a gong with my horse's face. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Oh. That was silly, but it's done now. Mid-air grappling hook would have been nice there. Just running from one city to another. Go to each city, climb the wall, defeat one, two officers tops. Although this very video disproves that by having a rare battle where you have to fight four officers. But pretty much that's Dynasty Warriors 9. Making fun of individual bits of voice acting. Which, because I'm only going to play through this game once. Like, I, I, sometimes the jokes and stuff I remember best from my own LPs are playing through something I've already played off screen before. So I already had some memory of the gameplay thing I was making fun of. And this is like, what if I come up with a funny line? Me. I hope you're prepared to face this empty space. But even if I come up with something funny, I'm not really going to remember two minutes later. Yeah, you actually got off a combo there. It just served to annoy me. Look, it didn't even do any damage, really. Or it did so little damage that my, like, replenishing health already came back. We've really got to do something about the player character. Somehow I survived. Now, to raise troops and head to Shoujun. There's really no point. Just send Zhang Hei there. As always, my victories are tinged with a hint of beauty. Okay, now we can reclaim the base. That victory could not be any more beautiful. I'm going to use my dialogue to keep you occupied during the fast travel load screen. Beautifully. Front 
such a fine display of the martial arts. Wow, Oldie McGoldface is here. You performed great as always. There was no need for my strategy. Oh. Alright, how much is he fighting here? Come on. The battle has been decided. Surrender. Um, really? <laughs> Oh, no, I didn't think I was at the main fight yet. Yeah, I'm reclaiming the base here. Oh, but he's defending this base. So the guy I just defeated, I didn't need to defeat. Oops. Wasted uh, precious special attack on a guy who isn't the guy. I guess I can't ninja rope over this. Oh, I could there. As soon as I... Had to find the exact right spot. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Fine, I'll just turn the corner. Well, Suma Yi is here, not helping. He's literally just standing there. Shall fight you. I'm trying to figure out how I do. Um... Yeah. Okay. Will you fight now? I was trying to figure out how to use bow attacks because Jotai and Suma Yi refuse to get any closer to each other. Man, he's doing fanciness. We failed to take advantage of our superior numbers. We must withdraw. Superior numbers that are divisible by six. That's right, he's a member of the Biloxi race. Now they know the extent of my brilliance. My brilliant strategy of standing stock still while saying hey to the work. <laughs> he is a brilliant Until strategist. You can't Ooh's admit. Unit, the Wu army has pushed this far ahead. What are those imbeciles on the front lines doing? What? My lord. You must not allow pride to cloud You your must mind. not deliver dialogue different from what's written on screen. Oh, you're stuck here. As always, Great dialogue. And then Zhang Hei's face appears, and the words, My victories are always hint twin with a hint of beauty, be appear on screen, and the Zhang Hei voice actor goes, well done. I praise your effort. Oh, you know what? I just had a completely random uh, flash. Um, giving away when I recorded this for anyone who cares. I'm like, I'm recording this. Like, oh, I actually have a little time this evening. I'm like, oh, wait, I completely forgot. SummerSlam is tonight. I was actually intended to watch SummerSlam. I think it starts at, like, crazy early. I probably already missed some of it. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess I'll finish off this video and then tune in to SummerSlam a little on the late side. We'll be alright, guys. I know you're worried. <laughs> no, I'm just like, yeah, I'm surprised I actually have a little time here. It's nice. I don't. I'm surprised I actually managed to make a little time. I've been busy with work and blah, 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 and taking work home and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, wait, now I know why I didn't think I was going to have time to record anything. Summer Slam. <laughs> Gotta see Roman Reigns face uh, Brock Lesnar again. Alright, anyway. Oh, what a rich life. I'm trying to find time to record video games between my commitments to watching professional wrestling. It's challenging. Now we can attack the castle without worry. Our troops have secured our rear flank against the enemy forces. How do you figure? You're, you're being attacked right now, Eugene, before I even got there. The Wu army's fighting spirit burns with a raging passion. If we're not careful when exiting the castle, we're likely to get burned. Or I could just win right now. Was there something else I was supposed to do? Oh, I was supposed to reclaim the base. But I did that already. Oh well. How did we let it slip away? Perhaps I was 
overly confident in our victory. Well, perhaps you, Ron, is going to fight now. Or perhaps not. Depends on whether that was really supposed to be the end. I'm right. Our army is victorious. It is thanks to your efforts that we have removed the stain from our name. Well, your name. You're the one who trusted Let's his face. Goofball. Shang Hei's like, hurry up, hurry up, cinematic where I die. I'm so to done. Everybody's help. We were able to defend Shochun. However, our losses were quite. You know what Sal P says. You have losses, you retreat. I shall return to Luo Young and accept whatever punishment Master Sal P has in store for. Oh, me. you're dead, buddy. Master Sao Cho. I bring news from Luo Young. Her Imperial Highness has passed away. <laughs> Zhao Cho goes, Yes! What? Master Sao P is gone? That means I'm in charge! Master Sima E, what should we do? Hmm. Once they hear word of our Emperor's passing, Fu and Shu will surely move to attack us. I'd better take over now and get ahead of things. We must come up with a plan before then. Okay, so your plan is Master to come Manchu, up with a plan? Great. Can I entrust you with the preparations against U? Well, sure, I'm not going to betray Wei yes, and form my own dynasty. I shall gather up our men and reform the defensive lines. I shall defend Shou Chun as well. I am certain that Master Cao Pi would want me to do so. Whatever. Everybody else, I want you to prepare our defenses against Shu. Now, I must quickly make my way to Shang'an. Um. Shang'an. Um. Thank you for saluting me, Zhang Hei and Generic Man, and not other two guys. Oh, Shu Northern, Shu's Northern Campaign, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now it's going to be really tempting to keep this going, even though I just got done saying I kind of need to call it and start watching, uh, because, um... Zhang Hei, I don't know how extensive the Northern Campaign will be, how many different battles it's going to take place, um, how many little side missions there will be, but this should really be it for the Way Story mode, because um, this is the point at which all of the important characters are Jin characters. You could, in theory, in future Dynasty Warriors games, have some of the characters who opposed Suma Yi or in Suma Zhao and um, guys like that be aligned with Wei, but even those who are called Jin for story purposes, storyline purposes in Dynasty Warriors 7. <laughs> and my Musa was ready. intends to comply with the wishes of the previous emperor, Master Cao Pi, and leave command of the forces against Shu to you, father. Mm -hmm. Do you have any orders for us? Would you like to order me to not be such a dink? Yes. Tell our army to head for Mount Tailong. So I don't know if Zhang He dies before or after. One of the Gongzuns rebels. That's kind of where the Jin storyline starts in some of the other Dynasty Warriors games. And the oh yeah, Zhang Hei is actually in a cinematic here, so this is big doings. Wow, oh, this might be his ending scene. Shu has finally started marching towards us. Yes, it came much sooner than I thought. It hasn't been that long since the death of Liu Bei. This movement could only be possible with meticulous and precise planning. You think they've got some kind of strategist? Excuse me. Welcome, Master Sima Yi. After the loss of Jing, Shu was able to revive their alliance with Wu, and has managed to subdue the South. Singing songs about it the Southland. It was South all land. preparation for their advance north, and it was directed by one man named Zhuge Liang. <gasps> Zhuge Liang? <coughs> yeah, of course he's sure. He's so the strategist from the song Shu. Is also from Zhuge Liang. <coughs> Stop it! People cough right before they die in this game. Why do you appear so happy? Oh, I'm a uh, free ball. I have a chance to face off against a most extraordinary opponent. A How worthy opponent. Formidable opponent. Not be excited about that prospect. 
and polish it something. Come, Zhuge Liang. Uh, we're Zhang Hei and Guo Hui. You will eventually discover that you have met your match in Sima Yi of Wei. Mm. I don't think that's Zhang Hei's ending, but it could be. Yeah. So that would be kind of a weird ending scene. They don't have a whole lot of pre-rendered cinematics like that. But any time now, uh, Zhang Hei is pretty much dead. This is the campaign where he meets his final end. And once it went to cinematics like that, I thought maybe... It's a lot of these. It'll end right before the battle where the guy dies and, and let them have a little speech about... You know, just it's like an upbeat ending. You know, like you, you bow out of the story before they, they fall so that they can, you know have a moment to like muse over their accomplishments or whatever that would have been the point for Zhang Hei like the General story just decided he retired at that point and let them Nana. fight that fight he must go to his aid at once if we do it'll weaken our forces here it's our necks on the line if this place falls to the enemy what do you think overdressed weird brothers calm down nothing good can come out of you panicking now, somebody explain the situation to me. We just did, like, three seconds. Whoa. I bring news. The Shu oh. forces have stationed troops at Mount Qi, Mount Tiandang, and Ji Tin. Ji Tin, huh? General Sha Ho Mao is currently engaged in battle with the main Shu unit, led by Zhuge Liang. Oh, Sha Ho Bao is hanging out. Sha Ho Mao is a bit of an struggling. idiot, though. Master Sha Ho Mao will never be able to handle Zhuge Liang. We've I know him. He's and family and all, but he's kind of an idiot. Zhuge Liang is using the path's bottleneck and attacking from multiple directions ah, to this overcome is where his he dies. numbers. Who is in charge of defending Ji Ting? Zhuge Liang's disciple, Ma Su, reports suggest that his forces are stationed on the mountaintop near Ji Ting. On the mountaintop of Jiting, mm -hmm. not the base. That is a rather boring strategy. Although, it does present us with a good opportunity. The enemy will be unable to secure any fresh water from the mountaintop. We just need to seize the base of the mountain, and they will eventually run out of water. Ah, yes, it'll only take several days. So I suppose the reason Shu has sent troops to Mount Tiandang is to split our front line between there and Shang'an. Mm. I believe so. We need to be very wary of the powerful officers who may well be stationed to the south of the mountain. Don't kill any of them or I'll have no one to work mm. with when I switch sides Thank later. You for your report. What is your name? I am known as Jiang Wei, my lord. Wise and powerful. Ah, uh, I see. So you're the famous prodigy of Tian Shui. I'm the famous compuserve of Chang An. Zhuge Liang may be attacking from multiple directions, but he only has one target, Shang An. He will likely focus his efforts on Ji Ting and Tian Shui in order to form a base for his invasion of Shang An. Zhang Wei, I need you to defend your homeland. And never switch sides, Understood. because if you do, you'll be faced with an impossibly difficult uh, hero scenario in RTK 13. She, Zhao, make sure you do not besmirch our family name in this battle. Sure thing, William Regal. Stephen Regal. We must defeat Zhuge Liang and show no mercy See, to them, the they're all vampire. They must never think of setting foot in this land again. Zhuge Liang's in Chiang Shui. This will be too much for Zhang Wei on his own. I have to help him. I have to stand here. So now I'm really tempted to go one more video because uh, we are really close to finishing this thing. I have to believe that... Uh, I have to think that Xu's Northern Campaign is the final mission for Zhang He. I'm not absolutely sure though. I'm going to save. But I'm thinking, eh, you know, I might be up a little late watching SummerSlam and not live as it goes up, but it's on demand, so I'm good. But, um, 
I'm thinking I'll if I finish off Zhang He's story, then I need to decide. Hey, because we just saw Suma Zhao show up, right? He was the yet he's one character who I am positive will go through the end of the story because he is the emperor of United China at the end of the story. So you know he's going to be there to the end. Um, so my thought is. Like, if I just really need to be... If I really want to say goodbye to this game... And honestly, if it weren't for the fact that I I need to pick Neo back up... And I'd like to get another... I have to finish... I got, like, one, maybe two videos worth of Secret of Evermore to finally go back and do. And I probably want to have another more old-school RPG going as as one of my series. RTK is almost done, but I got it. I've got too many series going. Something needs to give. And this could be it. Uh, because if I decided I'm going to play through every story of this thing, this thing could be going on for a long time. I guess I could just start playing the game and not doing optional side missions. I don't know. But my my exit strategy for this series, and I'd like to hear people's thoughts, like, how much are you enjoying this particular series? Uh, will I continue to be amusing, just making fun of the voice acting, if I want to go all the way through with Wu and Shu and Jin? Um, or could I just, after Zhang He uh, dies, pick up the story with Suma Zhao, which would carry us through to the very, very end of the story, and we'd have played through the whole thing as a combination of Wei and Jin. Uh, I guess uh, we'll see if I finish it off next time, and I'll what I'll do is I'll probably just take a little break and give people a chance to chime in in the comments section, and if nobody's saying anything in the comments section... That'll be my indication to just do whatever the hell I want because no one cares. I'm the Serious JG. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye bye.